Studies have consistently shown that the pain of losing something is far more powerful than the pleasure of gaining. They've found that we're far more likely to take risks or even behave dishonestly to avoid a loss than we are to make a gain. When we're changing something, by definition, that means letting go of the way things are now. So quite often, it does mean we'll have to give up something. And in some cases, that something may be really important to us. At work, for example, it might be the people we work with or where we're located. The thing to keep in mind is that these downsides, whether talked about or not, will be felt by those affected. Rationally, we may understand the need for change and support it in general. But those feelings of loss operate at a different level and we'll create a sense of dissonance or internal conflict. And of course, this is especially true where the change is in direct conflict with our personal goals or objectives. In a work situation, this may be our personal targets for the year, or even departmental measures of success that have been in place for some time. These feelings will impact behaviours and undermine engagement if not dealt with. So when leading change, it's important to understand and acknowledge these downsides and the impact on the people involved. Where possible, we should seek to find ways to reduce their impact and create better alignment between the change outcomes and the personal preferences and vested interests of those involved.